We're still seeing some of those breezy winds out there. The good news though, those aren't going to stick around. You can see we do have a few clouds out there, but we're seeing that sun today. Uh, that is going to be the case tomorrow as well as we start the morning tonight. On your forecast first for tonight, we have an overnight low of 39 degrees. We are going to be partly cloudy this evening. We could see some patchy fog. Winds out of the southwest 5 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour still this evening. Those are going to continue to die down though as we head into the overnight hours. Then tomorrow we have a high of 54 degrees. We're going to see sun in the morning, then some clouds moving in throughout the day. Winds out of the south 5 to 10 miles an hour with those winds dying down tomorrow. Today we reached a high of 55 degrees, a low of 48. That high right around where we should be for this time of year are low much warmer than average. A little bit of precipitation was measured, uh, not too much. And that sunset again, getting earlier and earlier, 5.49 p.m. We are in the five o'clock hour now for that sunset. Our winds, 26 miles an hour right now in Spokane, 17 miles an hour in Coeur d'Alene, 22 miles an hour in Deer Park, eastern Washington, northern Idaho, still seeing some of those breezy winds continuing. But then, as I've been saying, those are going to die down. And as we take a look at what these wind speeds uh, have the potential of doing right now, the winds that we're seeing not really going to cause too much damage. But as we've been seeing, we do have uh, those power outages reported by Avista. With the winds, we are seeing 24 miles an hour. We're just going to see those small trees swaying with those stronger gusts. We could see some small branches breaking on those trees or maybe even very small trees. Uh those cracking as well. However, we're not going to see too much damage uh, at all to buildings or anything like that. And then on our wind forecast, you can see the winds dying down considerably into the overnight hours. And then tomorrow by the afternoon, we're really seeing hardly any winds at all here in the inland northwest. We did see a little bit of shower activity today as well. That mostly stuck into the Idaho panhandle. We could see a little bit of that tonight, just some scattered showers throughout the evening across the panhandle, but that is not going to amount to very much today. On the 24 for our forecast, we do have high pressure building in the area starting tonight, and that is going to stick with us into Tuesday evening. Then Wednesday, we do have a chance of seeing some shower activity. We have a system that is moving down into British Columbia or out of British Columbia. Um, however, that is most likely just going to stay into the mountains. It's not likely that uh, here in Spokane we'll see any measurable precipitation at all. Right now in Spokane, 52 degrees, winds 26 miles an hour out of the southwest in Coeur d'Alene, 52 degrees as well, winds 17 miles an hour in Coeur d'Alene. Our lows tonight going to be into the mid to upper 30s for most of the region, lower 40s some areas, 41 degrees in Wenatchee, 40 in Coeur Lane, 40 in Pullman and Moscow and 39 degrees in the valley. Our highs tomorrow into the mid to upper 50s for most of the region. And again, a couple 60, 60 degrees in Wenatchee and Moses Lake, 62 in Lewiston, 58 in Spokane Valley and 54 degrees in Coeur d'Alene. We are going to be about 54 degrees tomorrow, seeing some clouds as I was saying in the afternoon, then sunny on Tuesday, 58 degrees. Wednesday, we are going to be cloudy, chance of showers, but as I was saying, I think it's gonna stick into the mountains, so I don't have it in our forecast. And then 54 degrees for most of the rest of the week, sunny, look we have more high pressure, and then looking like a beautiful weekend. Yeah. Hopefully, we can get that to stick around for Tuesday uh, for Halloween while everybody is out trick-or-treating, but temperatures, yeah, definitely not too bad this week.